YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. We start off with a hug, so let's do it. Let's, um, oh, we need some hugs here in Philadelphia. There was a very tragic fire that took place here in Philadelphia where 13 people died and seven of them were children. Very tragic day in the city. Yes, there Hugs are definitely needed. It's not cute not knowing. We're, we're going to get into our first story. We're going to take you to the group, the Force MDs. Jesse D. Jesse Daniels. He was an original member of the Force MDs. He was found dead, 57 years old. He had left the group a few years ago, but he was one of those original core groups. Force MDs known for tears, love as a house, of course, tender love, itching for a scratch. There was a period in the 80s where the Force MDs just had some great, great songs. If you remember the Crush Groove movie and soundtrack. A lot of tragedy has followed the Force MDs and Jesse is the fourth member of the group to die. There was Mercury. He was the heavy set one who wore his hair high. He died in 1995 from a heart attack. There was TCD, who had the beautiful falsetta. He died of Lou Gehrig's disease in 1998. Their DJ, Dr. Rock, passed away in the 90s from natural causes. And now they don't know what Jesse died from, but he was found in his apartment. He was 57 years old. Stevie D is the only remaining original member of the Force MDs. He is now touring along with his brother Khalil and another member of the family, Offspring. You know, they have joined the group and they're still touring, but the only original member is Stevie D. Sending our prayers there. Jason Derulo. You know, he's often teased about those TikTok dances and I don't think people love to take Jason Derulo serious. And then when he broke Jordan Sparks' heart, we were like, Jason Derulo, do not call him Usher. I don't care what you do. Do not taunt him. People be thinking, you know, they ain't got no fighting skills. He does. He was in Las Vegas. And not only did the two guys call him Usher, I, I don't think it was just the Usher. I think when they called him an MF, that he went off. He slapped one guy, then he punched out the other guy, knocked them to the ground. I'm sure they will never call out somebody else out of their name. Now, the police did detain Jason Derulo, but he wasn't playing. I think it was more than just calling him usher. I think when they started hurling cursing words at him that he was like, no, this is not what we're going to do today. In light of, you know, keeping the Betty White memory alive, she passed away. On New Year's Eve at the age of 99, the Betty White Challenge is going on, which is where people are donating $5 or more to local animal shelters. Andy Cohen, he is being defiant about his behavior at New Year's Eve. He says he ain't apologizing to nobody. He don't feel bad about being drunk and that he was drunk and rowdy because people were sad about the death of Betty White. Is that privilege or what? That's privilege. That ain't nothing but privilege. And CNN, I'll say it again. If you want to be taken serious as a news organization, you will not allow that behavior to happen. He going to show up even drunker for New Year's Eve this year because he is very defiant and says he does not care who was offended, who was turned off. He trying to clown Ryan Seacrest. Millions were watching Ryan Seacrest with the New Year's, Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eve. CNN's ratings didn't even come close. But Andy Cohen says he just wanted to cheer people up. Jeannie and Jeezy, they're now parents. Uh, don't know the sex, but the baby is here. Khloe Kardashian. The countdown is on for when she takes Tristan Thompson back. Tristan gave their daughter hundreds of roses. He apologized. I'm sorry for cheating. I'm sorry for getting another woman pregnant. 
um, those in the Kardashian clan, they, they want Tristan back in. And if he gets Chloe pregnant and she has another, you know, has another baby, which is what she really wants from Tristan, just look for those two to get back together. Jamie Foxx set everybody on fire in the Spider-Man movie as Electro. He is saying there could be a spinoff in the Marvel world of his Electro character. Oscar winner Viola Davis, she has written a book about her life simply entitled Finding Me, where she talks about her journey into acting. For those who were just like this about Steve Harvey having a judge show, the ratings were good. It's nothing but like 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 it's like watching his comedy show when he when he rips on the plaintiffs. Um I remember reading one person said, Well, why did I go to law school? What Steve Harvey does is it's it's comic, it's entertainment. It's not, it's not real. It's set into a courtroom. It's it's for entertainment purposes. You should go on and pass the bar and still go on to be a lawyer because what Steve Harvey is doing is totally, totally different. Now, if you're saying you missed it, all of these good shows will be streaming on Hulu the next day. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. I know we're short and we're sweet today and getting right to the point. But... Have a good one and thank you so much for checking in. Leave a comment because Auntie reads the comments and I'll be going through stuff today. But thanks so much for checking this out. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your Auntie of Pop Culture.